I tried to film wild European hamsters in Hungary and made an unsettling discovery. This is me, David. I'm a nature filmmaker and ecologist. Because the common hamsters are threatened with extinction, I have been observing them worldwide over two years to document the last populations. Our goal was to showcase Hungarian hamsters. The reality, a challenging nine-day journey across Hungary turned out to be a much tougher task than anticipated. Starting this excursion, we had no clue of the hardships ahead. Wie läuft die Hamstersuche? Bescheiden. Is it still possible to find wild hamsters in Hungary? We had filmed hamsters in every country since Hungary was the only country where we had not filmed hamsters. It felt somewhat unfinished. And we wanted to show Hungarian hamsters. But this should turn out much more difficult than we thought. Because we knew when we scheduled a pickup shoot in Hungary, this will also mean we have to postpone the release of the whole project. But this also means more costs for us. But in the end, we were honest to ourselves. We thought it would be so important to show also hamsters in this country, because in the end, this is what this documentary is about, the hamsters. So we decided to come back to Hungary in 2023. I travel with my colleague Heide and after a long day on the road it's always rewarding to sit at the fire in the evening and at this point we didn't know what stress was ahead of us. We already knew spots where we had found hamsters the year before so we came back for hamster footage one year later. We already knew places where we found open burrows, but also the fields where we met a hamster hunter and where he showed us some burrows. We wanted to put up our cameras there and yeah, to start filming as soon as possible to get as much footage as we wanted. But as often, this plan didn't go well. We visited two areas where we found hamsters last year but in the first one we had no signs of hamsters and in the second one we searched many hours and found only one abandoned burrow but no clues for any recent hamster activities. But we covered a huge area, we mapped a lot of fields by foot and we did drone mapping because it is faster when you're a small team like us and you can still do this when the vegetation of the fields is higher. And in Hungary, the hamster season starts earlier, so the field crops are higher and sometimes there's no other way than our drone mapping method. So whenever I saw an interesting spot from above with the drone, like something that looks like a feeding circle, for example, I would first check it by flying closer to the spot and then tell Heide to check the location and we were yeah, connected uh, with radio and talking through the radio. But unfortunately, the most cases, the spots were only resting places of hares or mice burrows. So no signs of a good feeding circle of hamsters. Of course, there are some limits to this drone mapping method, especially when you are working a lot of days remote in the field. Uh, we had a set of six drone batteries with us and we were pushing them really to the limit. They were constantly charging or they were just empty. So at every spot we uh, were parking, we put out our solar panel out to charge them and we were charging them constantly when driving. So we mapped hectares of hectares every day without any good sign of hamster activity. Four kilometers of the street wird very sportlich. We also tried to talk to locals at almost every spot we visited because our hope was that some farmers would know if there are hamsters close to his fields. But everyone we talked to said there are no hamsters anymore in this area and um, you will not find them there. Of course this was very difficult because the most people we talked to only know Hungarian and don't speak English or German or whatever. 
So this was quite challenging to tell them what we are searching for. Guten Tag. Wir suchen Feldhamster. Sziasztok, Messei. Hörsökökök. Keressünk. Sziasztok, Messei. Hörsökökök. Keressünk. Das hatte ich mir markiert, weil es hier auch wieder so viele Streifen gibt. In one area we thought we had finally an active borough. We were so happy and I got all my equipment ready for remote filming. But it is not only hamsters who use hamster burrows. There are also step pole cats, for example, which use hamster burrows. And so I was waiting an entire evening just for a pole cat. When you search for information about hamsters in Hungary, everyone, including research papers, states that there are so many hamsters. The EU is saying they are so abandoned that hamster hunting is still legal and not prohibited like in every other country of the EU. We were really starting to doubt ourselves and our methods. Before we started this trip, we already worked out a plane A, B, C and so on. We had a lot of possible locations to visit, but they were all without any hamsters and we were running out of alternatives and also running out of time. So we had to start from the beginning again with producing. And this is simply meaning you doing research again, finding the right contacts and the right people to contact. So on our way to different locations, we activated a few contacts we had we wrote emails and called different persons and at this point we were really close to giving up hope. It was Friday afternoon and we had little hope to get outside help. But then we got an email from a Hungarian mammal expert and he told us you are wasting your time, there are no hamsters in the great Hungarian plain anymore. So he explained us that there was a huge population collapse in 2021 and 2022 and there's basically no stable population left. So it was not our fault that we couldn't find any hamsters. There were no hamsters left we could find. And this were really shocking news for us. But the expert recommended one last location in the very west of Hungary where he knew hamsters. So we went across half the country once more again and went through Budapest. We got two possible locations which were really close to each other. And when we arrived at the first one, we were head over heels when we found the first burrows there in the field. We had not that much time left for the day and Heide was ready to bring all of the equipment to the field. but. In all this stress, I didn't want to rush it and said, let's get a short look at the second location, just to be sure that we don't miss anything. And the second location was even better. With so many burrows, there were literally hamster highways in the field between each of the burrows. This here is also a hamster autobahn to the bow. After we found the field with the burrows, Heide got the trail cameras ready and started to map the area and took GPS points. And at the same time, I started filming that very first evening. We searched for so long to find hamsters and now we didn't want to waste any time. What a day, starting in the very southeast, traveling to the north, mapping a field, getting the important email, driving then to the very northwest through Budapest in the early afternoon, arriving at a new hamster location and instantly starting to film till dusk. It felt like time traveling back when there was plenty of hamsters. We actually filmed a road kill. This is not something you film to entertain, of course. It is to show what roads mean for hamsters and also to document something that has become so rare. 
This is something we had never seen, not in Germany and not in any other country we filmed. But in the field when we were mapping hamster burrows and checking our trail cameras, it felt like hamster paradise. And it reminded me a lot of Vienna, not because it was an urban area, but because there were so many hamsters there. But for our schedule, we need to know which burrows are currently being used and what individual habits and rhythm the hamsters had at the moment. There were questions like, when are they most active? When is the most likely time to film them? And to find this out, we used special adapted trail cameras. So we placed as many trail cameras in front of the burrows and in front of the entrances of the burrows as we had and checked the results every next day. The longer you do this, the better you get an understanding of each individual activity pattern and the preferences of the hamster living there. For us, the day active hamsters were the most interesting ones to film them with our main camera in a remote controlled setup. So we spent the last four days we had with waiting and just filming of the hamsters. And suddenly we were in a totally different working mode. The first half of the trip was so stressful. We visited so many different locations and we drove hundreds of kilometers. And now we were staying in one place with so many hamsters using completely different equipment and yeah, just really could focus on filming the hamsters. We were quite fast in a new routine. Waking up, breakfast, checking the track cameras, map new areas of the field saving the data and filming the hamsters from afternoon till dusk. Wie ist die Curry seit? Eine, fast eine Woche. Eigentlich, warte mal. Wir haben den letzten Kaffee haben wir Montag getrunken und heute ist Samstag. Und wir lieben Kaffee. <lacht> Aber es war so stressig die letzten Tage, wenn wir nicht dazu gekommen sind. Und heute sind wir endlich an unserem Hamsterspot und können endlich Kaffee kochen. Jetzt gibt es endlich wieder Kaffee. So in our screenplay, Hungary was meant to be our example of a country which has still a very high hamster population. Our expectation was that we could return to spots where we had found hamster burrows in the last year. To stay there for a few days, film hamsters and go back to Germany. Because all our knowledge was based on publications and our last visit there. But the hamster population suffered a significant decline in 2021 and 2022. So as far as we know, we are the first ones who publish the drastic decline of the Hungarian hamster populations. Thank you for watching. Don't miss to check out our other hamster content here on YouTube. And maybe you didn't see our last video about Hungary where we met the last European hamster hunter. So stay tuned and see you. Bye bye.